Helm's Deep, Pelennor Fields, Osgiliath, the Black Gate. If the names of these battles send shivers down your spine, then you'll want to check out Lord of the Rings Conquest. The game puts you on the field for all the biggest battles from the Lord of the Rings and then some. With two campaigns and 16 player online combat, Conquest offers plenty of epic fun for action fans, as long as you're willing to deal with occasional frustrations and a bunch of button mashing. Lord of the Rings Conquest gives you a chance to play as a variety of rank and file soldiers. There are four classes, the warrior, the archer, the mage, and the scout, each with their own strengths, weaknesses, and special attacks that, while not exactly canonical, fit well within the video game setting. You'll also get to ride horses, fire ballistas and catapults, take control of Ents, and even play as legendary heroes like Legolas, Gimli, Aragorn, and Gandalf. This all adds up to a busy battlefield, and certain levels, notably the Pelennor Fields, have a grand scope that makes you feel like you really are part of an epic struggle. Despite all the large-scale conflict going on, your actions are more focused on dispatching the foes at hand. Using a variety of attacks, you'll slice, shoot, stab, and shock your way through enemies to secure capture points, grab items, and kill powerful enemies. Though you have a variety of attacks, you'll end up doing a lot of button mashing as you progress. And this can get tiresome, especially when, by some mismatch between friendly and enemy spawn rates, you run up against an impossibly hard onslaught of enemies. You'll become unpleasantly familiar with losing all your lives and restarting levels, but with a little patience, you'll make good progress through the campaigns. That's right, campaigns, plural. One of the coolest parts of the Lord of the Rings Conquest is that it features two different campaigns. One that follows the event of the books and movies, and one that lays out an alternate ending in which the free creatures of Middle-earth are crushed under the boot of the Dark Lord. Every campaign level is bookended by cutscenes that use footage from the movies to advance the plot. This is especially cool during the Evil Campaign, when the footage is used to paint a completely different picture. One of rack and ruin that scours the land all the way to the Shire. It's a grim thrill to play as the Nazgul and literally shriek the life out of your foes. And the last level is so sinister, yet so morbidly awesome that you won't be able to resist cackling with malice. Both campaigns are fun and action-packed, but the relentless enemies can prove frustrating if you're going it alone. Fortunately, the game supports two-player co-op, local and online, throughout each campaign. And up to 16 players can take the field in online battles. There's a familiar suite of modes that include Team Deathmatch, Capture the Flag uh, Ring, and uh, Territories, aka Conquest. Pitting your skills against human opponents is fun, though playing the campaign to get a feel for the idiosyncrasies of each character's moveset is definitely recommended, lest you end up dying all the time and being completely frustrated. Despite being a bit button mashy, Lord of the Rings Conquest is good fun. It does an impressive job of recreating and inventing battles from the Lord of the Rings universe, and there's a great variety of characters to play as. If you like the Lord of the Rings enough to weather a bit of frustration, there's plenty of death, honor, and glory to be had in this conquest.